I'm Tony from Bonner's Music and this is my review and buyer's guide to the brand new Kawai CN29 digital piano. So as I say in all of my videos, it's always good if you're looking to buy a digital piano that you actually come and try it first. Now you can do that in Bonner's stores and you can compare the CN29 with other models from different manufacturers just to make sure you're making the right choice when you're buying a digital piano. Bonners has two stores at the moment. We have one on the south coast in Eastbourne and one in Rygate in Surrey, just off of junction eight of the M25 motorway. Um, and hopefully by the end of 2019, we're gonna have another store, which is right in central England as well. So getting to see digital pianos should be easier for lots of people. Anyway, let's get on with the uh, review of the CN29. Like I said, it's a brand new model uh, released in 2019. Um, and I must say, sometimes products come along where everything about them just feels right. Um, you'll have heard me in other videos I've done say that when I really think that a, a product is worthy of that accolade. And I must say that the CN29, Kawai seem to have got everything right. The key touch is fantastic, especially considering the price point of this, which is in the low uh, 1,000 pound price point. So this is kind of a, a second level digital piano. The, you've got the, the lower range KDP models or perhaps the Yamaha Arius models. They're the, they're the cheaper entry level pianos. And then the CN29 is, is the next stage up. Now, like I said, it's got a really nice keyboard action. The cabinet design is really nice. It's got a nice sort of quality feel about it. There's actually three different uh, color options available. This is the uh, satin black finish, and you can actually see the wood grain through it, which is nice. There's also the very popular rosewood finish, which is a very, very dark brown color, and there is a satin white finish as well. Now, um, what Kawai have done with this model, which is the first really for a piano of this price point is it actually has a proper control panel with a little LCD readout on it as well so you can actually see the sounds you're selecting everything on this little screen here and that makes things much easier and normally with a piano of this price the manufacturers try and save money by removing things such as LCD screens and buttons and things and um, they tend to use the keys themselves to select voices which you'll see on some of the models from Casio and Yamaha in the same price range uh, but on this new model the CN29 has this really nice brightly lit display screen and it gives you information about what you're doing with the piano so it will tell you what sound you've got selected or what mode you're in if you've got the keyboard split into two or you're layering voices together or which metronome function you're using but everything comes up on the little screen and that's a real real help when you're when you're playing the piano anyway let's stop talking let's get playing so the first thing I'm going to do is just play the uh, first grand piano sound that comes on when you turn on the CN29 and that's the sound of the Shigeru Kawai concert grand piano. So Kawai make traditional acoustic pianos as well as digital pianos. In fact, they've been making acoustic pianos for over a hundred years. Digital pianos they've been making for the last 20 or so years. Um, but they actually use the piano sound from their own acoustic grand pianos in their digital pianos. So we've just heard the sound of their top of the range acoustic concert grand piano, which is the Shigeru Kawai concert grand. And now we're going to listen to a different concert grand that Kawai manufacturer and that's the sound of the EX Concert Grand. Now this particular piano sound I feel has got a lot of power um, and the piece of music that I'm using shows how much power there is in this piano but it can also be very delicate as well so I've, I've, I'm playing, I'm not particularly playing the piece of music in, in the way it was originally written 
but I'm playing it in a way that shows off the sort of the light and shade and, and the expressiveness of the EX, uh, Kawai EX piano sound. So another piano sound which is very popular at the moment is actually the sound of the upright piano. So the digital piano manufacturers are always shouting about the biggest piano sound they can put in here, the biggest concert grand sound. But actually the sound of an upright piano is uh, it's got a very unique characteristic about it. And um, if you take a listen to the upright piano sound, which I'm going to play in a second on the CN29, as you listen to the lower registers, you'll hear it's just slightly detuned, and that's true of a typical acoustic upright piano sound. So I'm going to play a little piece of music called The Entertainer, um, and that works particularly well on the upright piano. So as you can see, the CN29 has got lots of different acoustic piano sounds. So Kawai have really focused this instrument around players who want traditional piano sounds rather than lots and lots of orchestral sounds and brass sounds and synthesizer sounds. There are a few of those in there, but not many. It's, it's really all about the piano. And that's what I love about the CN29. There's such a great selection of piano sounds. Um, the next piano sound that I'm gonna to play to you is the sound of the Studio Grand. Now, a Studio Grand piano tends to be slightly shorter than a concert grand. Um, and that's because they tend to record better and sit better in the, the mix of a perhaps a, a pop tune or a jazz tune or something. They, they tend to work better in a recording studio. So this is the sound of the studio grand piano. And at the moment, Elton John music seems to be quite popular because there's just been a movie released about his life. So I'm gonna play the intro to a well-known Elton John tune using the studio grand piano. Now there's actually a second studio grand and this is a much brighter sound and this is good for contemporary and pop music. And finally, there are two mellow grand piano sounds. So when you want to play something a little bit perhaps romantic or um, softer classical music, then the, the two mellow grand pianos are really nice for that. So take a listen to these two different sounds.
So that was a, a good demonstration of the different types of piano tone you can get. Now, what is very important with a digital piano, it's not just the sound, but it's actually the feel of the keys. Now, very usefully, I'm just gonna lean down here and show you something I've got here, which is a sample of the actual keyboard that you'll find inside the CN29. Now, it uses Kawai's responsive Hammer 3 piano action as we call it in the trade and it's a it's a plastic key but it has a hammer which you'll see comes up underneath the key um, it has a counterweight which means that the the return of the key is nice and fast so if you're a more advanced pianist and you want to play fast pieces then the counterweight really helps with that and it also has what's known as a let off action or a simulated let off so what that is um, in actually in practical terms is when you press the key very very gently you just feel you press down and then it takes a little bit of pressure just to get the key to the bottom it's almost like there's a little lump now that's a characteristic of a grand piano you'll only ever find that on a grand piano and it's uh, something to do with the way that the mechanism of the key action is made in a grand piano but the cn29 keyboard actually simulates that as well so it's a nice action i mean for for a piano of this price point i i must say i've always liked the responsive hammer 3 action from Kawhi, and in fact as a testament to how good this piano action is um, there's another company who you may or may not have heard of but they're called nord as n-o-r-d and they are a Swedish um, manufacturer of keyboards which are used on stage. You may have seen them used on stage quite a lot. They're bright red um, and they're hand built in Sweden. They're very, very high quality keyboards. Now, until now, they've been using the key, the actual keys from a generic um, Italian manufacturer of, of keyboards, but uh, their latest piano for the stage use is called the Nord Grand and they're actually using Kawhi's responsive Hammer 3 action inside their stage piano and that's the sort of piano that you'll see used by professional musicians all over the world at big big festivals and events and concerts so that just goes to show how good um, other people think that the the keyboard action on the uh, on the Kawhi uh, is and th this is the responsive hammer three now it's been used in kawaii pianos for for a number of years now um, they haven't needed to change it it really does feel very nice it's got the synthetic ivory key surfaces so they're slightly textured which means your fingers don't slip when you're playing as well so let's take a listen to some more of the sounds that are in the cn29 we're finished with the acoustic piano sound so now let's take a listen to some of the other sounds that are in there starting with the sound of what's called the electric piano. Now this is a sound that is based on a very famous piano from the 1970s which was called the Fender Rhodes and it was actually, um, it actually used, or it made a sort of bell-like sound so um, it used something called metal tines that had a, had a proper hammer action keyboard and the hammers hit some metal tines and it gave a very bell-like sound and it's used in um, a lot of ballads and uh, kind of funky music as well but uh, have a listen to this really beautiful sound <laughs> So if you're familiar with the sound of the Fender Rhodes, you'll, you'll appreciate that was a very, very authentic uh, recreation of that particular voice. Now in the 1980s, Yamaha made a piano sound um, that was on a key, very famous keyboard called the DX7. And that particular piano sound was used in almost every 80s ballad that was uh, released in that era. Um, so you'll recognize this sound and this is the uh, sound of the modern electric piano or it's actually the sound of the Yamaha DX7. Take a listen to this.
Another sound that's become very uh, popular recently is actually a, an old sound from the 1960s, but it's the sound of the Hammond organ. Now, I'm just gonna just play a, a quick riff using this particular sound, but uh, for those people who are familiar with the Hammond organ, um, it was very often put through a rotating speaker to give it that uh, distinctive sound. Um, and the CN29 actually has or it recreates that effect of the rotary speaker when you press the left hand pedal, which is a soft pedal. So I play the organ sound and then I press the pedal and you'll hear that the sound changes and that's the sound of the rotating speaker or the Leslie speaker as it became known because that Leslie were the manufacturers. So have a listen to the, uh, the jazz organ sound. So as well as the classic jazz or Hammond organ, there's also a classical church organ sound. And the CN29 has got numerous other sounds, including vibraphone, harpsichord, there are some synthesizer sounds, and there's the sound of the string orchestra. Now the CN29 allows you to actually layer two sounds together. Now when you do this, every single key will have the sound of, of two different voices mixed together. So a classic combination, actually one of my favorite combinations, and I always like this part of uh, when I'm recording my videos, and that's the sound of the piano mixed with the orchestral strings. So when I press the two buttons together on the control panel, it layers two different voices together. And I'm going to use this for a, a fairly famous piece of music called You've Got a Friend. So the sound of the string orchestra just, just gives a, a, it fills out the sound and, and makes a bigger sound and it's a real pleasure to play using the two sounds layered together. So as you could hear all in all the CN29 has got a really great range of sounds and they're good quality sounds and a nice keyboard and a nice cabinet so it's, it's a great package really. Um, it has three pedals just like a grand piano, you have a soft pedal, a loud pedal or a sustain pedal and a sostenuto pedal as well. Um, other useful functions, there's a metronome built in and a really good function that I like on digital pianos and particularly on the CN29 is the recording feature. Now it's a simple one button record so you hit record and then you can play something. Now there are two really good uses for the record facility. First of all you can record, uh, record one hand and this is what my piano teacher always said to me you should do is record or, or not record because back in those days you couldn't record yourself but you should play or practice one hand practice the other hand and then put the two together now with a modern digital piano it's really good because you can record one hand and listen to it and whilst you're listening to that you can play the second part yourself over the top of the recording so here's a demonstration of me doing that so i'll play the left hand first and record it play that back and then I practice my right hand independently. Have a listen.
So of course another good function of the record feature is that you could actually play a duet with yourself. So I'm going to play uh, just the, 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 the lower or the bass part for, um, this is the, uh, the intro to the, uh, the Muppet Show I think it is, but I'm going to play the lower part first and record it and then I'm going to move my uh, chair up to the other side and I'm going to play the treble part whilst the uh, CN29 is playing back the bit I've already recorded. So the record feature is, uh, is great fun. Now, there are lots of other features in the CN29. Um, you can tailor the piano sound to your own taste using Kawai's uh, virtual technician. It has Bluetooth, which will communicate with your smartphone or tablet device, um, which is a, a, a really useful thing because it will interact with the apps that you can download. And there are more and more apps coming onto the market almost every day from lots of manufacturers, not just Kawai, but you can use apps to, to learn how to, to play the piano. You can use apps for the, the fun games for children to help them with their learning the different notes and their theory. Um, there are apps that allow you to record yourself. You can um, get the score up on the screen as well of whatever you record. There are apps that allow you to, sh to show the actual musical notes on the screen as well and then edit it and print it out. So there's all sorts of things available. So having a wireless connection to your tablet device or your um, mobile phone is, is a really useful feature. That really brings me to the end of my quick demonstration um, of the CN29. As you could hear, it's a great sounding piano. Now, what else should you be looking at if you're looking at a CN29? Well, I would suggest you take a look at the Yamaha CLP625 because that's in a similar kind of price point. Um, it's a very similar design actually, but the C uh, CLP625 doesn't have the control panel. Um, of course, it's got a different sound because Yamaha use their own piano sounds, so certainly worth considering at the, at the same price point. Um, Casio make a piano which is a little bit cheaper, which is the AP470 or Selviano AP470. And of course, there's Roland as well. Um, there's the Roland HP702, which is a little bit higher priced than this. Or if you go below that, there's a Roland RP501. They don't have something that's directly uh, comparable to this in terms of price. But you can see all of those pianos in Bonner's piano stores. As I said, we have one in Eastbourne, one in Reigate, and soon one in the very centre of England as well. So if you want to come and try out digital pianos, check our website. You'll find our store locations on there. And if you just want to talk about pianos, then email us or give us a phone call and we can help you decide which is the right piano for you. So thank you very much for watching this video once again, and I hope to see you in another one of my piano demonstration movies.